Hi, this video is a card for a baby's first birthday. It features a die cut teddy bear with a flower on its tummy. It goes together really quick and you could recreate it with any supplies that you had. If you didn't have this particular die cut, you may have another die cut that you have in mind for this. The inside of the card is also very simple and easy to create. Let me go over the materials that I used for this card. Starting with the card base, cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. A yellow mat, cut four by five and a quarter. A white panel, cut four by five and a quarter. I also have three pieces of paper, purple, white, and gray, all cut to four and a quarter by three and a half. I have a pattern cardstock, cut five, four and a half by three and three quarters. I also need a piece of copy paper. I have my dollar stamp set. I needed a flower for the inside of the card. And I have the die cuts. They came in a set of two, a girl teddy bear and a boy teddy bear, but I'm just doing the girl. I keep my die cuts on a magnetic adhesive strip, which I have attached to cardstock. I'm using the Hero Art Circles stamp set and the Stampin' Up Because You Care stamp set. The inks I'm using today is Versafine Onyx Black, Memento Dandelion, Memento Lulu Lavender, and I'm also going to be using some markers. I have green, blue, pink, and yellow. I also have my quick stick tool which will help me pick up the little bits of the die cut pieces. And I also needed uh, tweezers because these little pieces are very small. So let me clear up this and we can just jump right in. The first step will be to die cut the teddy bear. I have a purple, a white, and a gray. The primary part of the bear will be on the gray and I'm going to do the detail pieces in purple and the heart, the flower, and all the little extra pieces I'm going to do those in white and paint it. I could have die cut it out of each one of the colors of paper but I thought that would be way too much waste just for that so the easier solution was to die cut it in white and, and color all the little pieces. I brought everything over from my die cut and I was being real careful not to lose anything but it turns out that I did lose a little piece of the eye. In order to get everything lined up I need to use my tweezers to pick up the little pieces and the quick stick which is sticky on one end and it really helps in picking up small bits and just pick the pieces up one by one and put them where I want them to be. It looks difficult but it really isn't, it's just a little tedious. The first step is to tape the pattern paper down to the yellow mat and I'm going to then tape the teddy bear in place on the yellow mat because that way I can tape the pieces exactly where I want them to go. So just put a little bit of Tombow on the back of the teddy bear but not too much because I don't want it to come easing through the holes in the bear. And then it's just a matter of taking a Tombow and putting the glue in the little bit of the little holes that are exposed and picking up the corresponding piece from the purple and put them right in place. I need the tweezers to help to make sure that once I have it where I need it to be, it stays put long enough for the glue to adhere. I'm just illustrating a couple of pieces so you can get the idea of how to do this and then I'll speed through the rest.
Now I'm going to put the white uh, pieces in, in place. And as you see, I'm taking my tweezers and pushing it through the little holes in the die cut to free the white die cut piece. You would do the same method for any die cut that has little intricate pieces. After I finish doing all of the, uh, getting the pieces that I need, this leaves me with three die cuts that I can use for another card. I just will not have the little intricate parts to re replace it, so it would be more like an outline bear. But I have a couple of ideas in mind for that. Now that I have finished all of the assembling of the little bits and pieces, I just want to give a good press to make sure that everything adheres to the Tombow glue below. Now it's just a matter of taking the markers and coloring all the little white bits with the different colors that I wanted for the bear. I could have chopped out uh, the different colors and put in the actual colors of the paper, but I thought that would be way too wasteful of the paper. And now I need a piece of white scrap to stamp the sentiment for the outside. This piece is an inch and a quarter wide by about three inches long, but I didn't need as much as I had. And I'm taking my Stampin' Up! square punch, which is an inch and a quarter, and I'm punching out the sentiment. It needed a little bit of decoration around the edges, so I'm taking my sponge finger dauber and the Lulu Lavender. I'm just daubering around the edges of the square to give them a little bit of color. And now I'm going to take the square and tuck it under the ear of the teddy bear. I'm putting a generous amount of tape on it and using my tweezers I'm going to lift that little ear up a little bit just enough to scoop that under there. And now I'm going to move on to the inside of the card. I kept it really simple. I just have a sentiment that says happy birthday and two of the colors of the outside of the card I brought it to the inside as flowers. Very simple. And now I'm going to move on to assembling the card. I need to get the card base and my bone folder and press the seam and then adhere the inside using my tape runner. I used my ATG gun to do the outside panel because I wanted to put a little bit more extra adhesive on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I decided that it needed a bow. So I have a bag of bows and I grabbed two uh, pink bows and I grabbed my glue dots and I put a bow on each one of the corners of the card. And then I decided a little bit more sparkle on the little bits would fix up the little bit of crazy coloring errors that I made. So once I added the sparkle it really brought it together and it really didn't matter that I, my coloring was a little off. And you can't really see it very well on the video but it's really sparkly. So that is the finished card. It went together really quickly despite the little piecing of the little bits. I probably will try this card with um, another way. I could I could have used the Tombow, uh, the Tombow markers or I could use the Zig Clean Color markers. The one on the left was the clean color, the one on the right was the Tombow and the result was very similar. Please try this card yourself. Thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe and have a nice day.